guys welcome to my channel my name is Dana K Delahaye from the blog Delahaye.com and today I'm going to take you on a day trip to York and I'm going to show you all the cool things that you can do in York with the York City Pass so if you like the sound of that let's go The York Pass is a sightseeing card which gives visitors free entry to top attractions, museums and monuments in York. The York Pass is available in a one and two day York City Pass which includes 24 hour city sightseeing bus tickets and entrance to other attractions around York. You can choose between a multi-day York and beyond Explorer Pass or a one day York City Pass. Your York Pass will be issued directly to your mobile device, so no need to worry about getting anything in the post. All you need to do after that is to show your York Pass at any of the attractions included in your York Pass. So guys, I'm in the shambles at the moment. As you can see behind me, it's, it's beautiful. And the shambles is actually an old English word for slaughterhouse. And this used to be where all the butchers of the cities were. And you can still find re remnants of that kind of era because there are little hooks that are so left in some of the buildings where they used to hang the meat. And I'm next to the Harry Potter shop, the shop that shall not be named. We all know who that is referring to. And basically I would advise come here early just before the shops open because it is getting crowded now and there are so many cute shops a lot of like wizardry shops are right here so if you're a big fan of harry potter this is an amazing place to uh, come to also the architecture of the old buildings are phenomenal but i saw a bakery that i want to try but there's a long queue for it but i definitely want to check out that bakery but just look how cute like this is the Shambles is one of the best preserved medieval shopping streets in Europe. It's actually York's prettiest street and it even won the title of the most picturesque street in Britain in the Google Street View Awards. So guys, one of the top things to do when you're in York is obviously visit the York Minister and that's actually in your York City Pass. It's included so you can get um, in for free if you've bought your York City Pass. However, you have to book your tickets in advance um, because they issue time slots. So you have to book your tickets to get um, admission into the building. Unfortunately, me and my late.com self, I didn't book my ticket far enough in advance and by the time I checked, all the slots were filled up. So I can only admire the building from outside. <laughs> but don't be like me, definitely book your tickets in advance. York Minster is renowned around the world as the largest medieval Gothic cathedral in Northern Europe. The cathedral took over 250 years to complete and it was finally declared complete and was consecrated in 1472. The Minster contains some of the country's oldest and finest stained glass with a newly restored Great East Window which is the largest single expand of medieval stained glass in the country. Definitely a thing to do when you come to York is definitely walk the city walls. It's amazing. You get some spectacular view of the minister from the actual city wall and it's super peaceful and I cannot, I'm really enjoying visiting New York. It is a beautiful city and there are so many things to do and see. You will not get bored at all. Some of the views that you're going to see, you can see the minister just behind me here. Oh, it's so amazing. So yeah, definitely. <laughs> do the walk of the city you don't have to do the whole city walk because obviously there are bridges that you can exit off of but at the moment they're allowing a one-way system and the um, walk goes clockwise so you can only go one way but i definitely think it's a cool thing to do the york city walls are 3.4 kilometers long and these beautifully preserved walls are the longest medieval town walls in england to complete the wall, it takes around two hours on foot. However, there are multiple chances to climb down and explore any nearby attractions that you might fancy. On the wall, there are four main bars or gateways. One main bar, one Victorian bar, and 45 towers to find along the way. 
I think this is where I will be descending the city walls because I've reached reach one of the towers where you can actually leave the city wall off of. So I'm going to leave and I think my next thing I want to do is hop on one of the hop on hop off buses and that's also included in your city pass, um, in your York city pass and get to see the city from a different view. So let's go. You can also stop off at Betty's Tea Room to enjoy a traditional English tea with a side of delicious fat rascal. The Fairfax House is the winter home of Lord Fairfax and sons of Georgian York. It's one of the most distinguished 18th century townhouses in Britain and was designed by the 18th century architect John Court. So another thing that I really liked doing today was visiting the Jorvik Viking Center and basically in the 1970s there was an excavation that unearthed a Viking settlement and the site of the settlement is where the Viking Center is um, currently housed now. And it's a really interactive exhibition to show you the, how life was in the 19th century for that kind of settlement and I really liked it. It does smell guys, oh lord it smells. But it was really really interesting and then the they have like little replica of, of people and some of them were really lifelike and really scary because they, when they're doing the action like eating um, and stuff like that and you're watching them it really looks like people so but I think it was also very interesting to see and learn about and then you can go through the museum and you will see the two skeletons that they also found and all the details about the skeletons as well so I really found it interesting so if you like educational stuff like that, you will like it too. <laughs> the list guys is Clifford's Tower and I use my York City Pass to book my tickets to Clifford definitely pre-book your tickets so that you're insured to get into the tower and right there just there is the Halifax house so on your way like everything is so close by the city is so walkable you can like do it in one day so it's super easy so let's go Climb to the top of Clifford's Tower, the last remaining port of York Castle, originally built by William the Conqueror. It was twice burnt to the ground before being rebuilt by Henry III in the 13th century. The tower offers sweeping panoramic views of York and the surrounding countryside. So now we're inside Clifford's Tower and this is like the inside. We'll give it a little spin. Yeah, that's gonna make you guys dizzy. <laughs> I made it to the top of Clifford Tower and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of heights, you know, the things I do for YouTube. Um, <laughs> it's a bit, it's not super high, but you know, if you're not all that steady with heights, you're gonna get a little anxious, but the view is well worth it. I think it's definitely worth it. I always try to do things to conquer my fear and this is one of them, to go on top of buildings. And this is the view that you get. Obviously, this is the back to the back of me and but it's definitely worth it because you just see all over and oh my god you can see it actually you can see the your minister in the distance as well the york castle museum is famous for its collection of both military and social history and costumes with over a hundred thousand items to display the collection of this museum was the brainchild of john kirk <laughs> I 
basically found the cutest little um, sweet shop and it has like fudges, Yorkshire fudges and peanut brittle and I love peanut brittle so I'm gonna go inside and get me some. <laughs> legit saw peanut brittle in the window of that shot shop and I was like I have to get it um, and I got some peanut brittle Yorkshire biscuit and obviously shortbread I love shortbread biscuit as well and another lady came in and she's like where is your peanut brittle I'm like did the peanut brittle bring you in as well and she's like yeah I saw it in the window oh uh, the peanut brittle looks so fabulous so definitely if you're in York and you see that the fudge shop definitely go in it's so cute and I saw so many little like candies from you know your childhood or what you eat at the seaside so I was like oh I was like so happy <laughs> So guys, basically I feel like such an idiot. This morning when I was walking um, walking in the Shambles, I saw the Shambles sausage and, and pie company. And it, like I have videos, it was filled with like all the beautiful pies. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna come back and get it for lunch. Oh my God, I came back and it, literally the pie shop was all sold out. He only had this chorizo a little piece of chorizo i was like i'll have it it was literally the last one and i'm like I, I need to buy look how beautiful this is just like how gorgeous it's still warm guys I, but i feel so stupid because i was like oh i'll get maybe two pies and now it all it was all sold out <gasps> but let me let me taste this so flaky the pastry is flaky but the, the chorizo, oh my god, very flavorful, well seasoned. If you come to Europe, don't be like me. Buy the pie when you see the pie in the, in the shambles, sausage and pie shop. Let's all fly together and I will show you place you never been. when you come to York is their street food their street food looks off the chain so I went to a crepe place and I grabbed a classic crepe with apple cinnamon and um, sugar and lime and one thing you need to know if you are someone that likes to eat local or locally sourced produce this place is really good because they are mill so the flour is made from organic it's organic flour made from their local Yorkshire mill and the eggs and milk are all sourced in the area now I'm gonna bite into my crepe oh my god it's so good it's so good Sometimes you get crepes and it's like a thin, synthetic, sweet kind of taste. Oh, and the, the apple flavor, oh my god, it's off the chain. And the, the crepe is soft. Oh, it's really good. I highly recommend this place. I've taken shots of the place so you guys can know where to find it. You can also learn about York's chocolate history at the Chocolate Story. saw the Van Gogh immersive exhibition and at first I'm not gonna lie it was a bit boring but it does pick up so just just stick with it um, and uh, one of the things that I did take away is that it would be really interesting for any form of artist whether you're professional or you're budding it will give you inspiration because you see how another artist goes through their process of creation and also there's a little there's like quotes from him and it's really inspiring some of his quotes like um, every failure is another st step to success or a, a accumulation onto success and then how he sees all of his paintings in his dreams first before he ever paints them with his brush so you see that every artist goes through like ebbs and flow in their creation and you see his um, his process so for, for me I found it really inspiring because you can take away something that he used in his process to create art into whatever you're creating whether you're a photographer a painter or a potter there's something there that you can take away from this exhibition and utilize it in your own stuff so definitely go and check it out Thank you. 
that is legit the best train ever i don't know where that train is going but i so want to go on it they had like tea and everything it's like some old time train so amazing I, i'm gonna find out where that train goes and what it's about and book a ticket <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming along with me on my day trip to York. Make sure you like and comment on this video. Until next time.